what is going on ladies and gentlemen let's refresh the chat here boom 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 i want you in my room Ooh, do, do, do. <laughs> classic song hey guys james here sketching the beast what's going on um so i haven't been very consistent with my live stream schedule and for that i have to apologize guys i don't really have a uh, set times that i've decided to start doing stuff yet um but um i honestly so today i just want to doodle just want to doodle just want to chat and hang out you know chat with people um let's see if i got something good to show you guys any updates this is what i did the last live stream um started inking this guy i got a little bit of everything everywhere right so anyways guys i, I i've just been kind of in between projects i had a big project i did for those of you who haven't seen or haven't followed make sure that you check out um, brian silverbacks's um his kickstarter kara prime i did a little tiny piece of artwork for a character named deadlift in that book um just for a background he's you know trying to use a bunch of different uh artists to help promote his book get new people and and it's you know it's a really cool experience and i'm having a whole lot i had a whole lot of fun doing it um i actually had to color the piece so i had to kind of learn a little bit at the same time which was um very interesting to say the least mm, i've learned that i am not as good at coloring as i had thought um and uh i apparently make my layers way too large um, but anyways, you may notice I have a green screen now. Ooh, isn't it fancy? It's so cool. I'm so excited to play around with this. Um, maybe I'll put some cool backgrounds in or something at some point. And uh, I don't know. There's some other streaming software that, that you can you can do fancy things with. And uh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm still kind of tinkering with... Uh, I use Streamlabs OBS, and it's been a lot of fun. But uh, this computer can't handle quite the output that I'd love. I'd love for you guys to have this in full... Uh, I think my camera can do almost 4K, maybe 3K. Um, but anyways, so guys, um, this is one of the things I'm working on right now. Uh, just a little teaser. This is um, an, a character. This uh, this is kind of a really rough draft of, of what the character is going to be. But you guys may or may not know, I do. I always do on my, my doodles, I always do, you know, the little dead smiley thing. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's zoom in a little. Uh, if you can't can't see it, I, I apologize. I'm gonna probably just be practicing with um with heavy pen or maybe some ink marker. But um so uh, I always do that on my doodles, and so I decided that that should be a comic book. I'm gonna make a comic book uh, revolving around that little my little signature. I was originally going to name myself uh, Dead Smiley, but I decided later that I think that's going to be what I'm going to call my, my publishing company if I ever decide to do a comic publishing. But anyways, uh, veering off of topic. So, <laughs> character is uh, Dead Smiley. And um, some really cool big reveals for this character. I can't talk too much about it. You may or may not get a sense of who this character is based off of just this. I don't think that you can. Um, I'm actually hoping that you can't because... Uh, in the comic book that I'm going to be writing, um, which I've started to lay the groundwork for uh, as far as characters and, and etc., um, it's going to be this guy, and there's going to be a few other characters in the book that are going to obviously support him, and there's going to be demons, and there's going to be um, like god-level fights type of stuff. So I'm hoping that this is going to be really cool. It's going to be my first comic book that I'm going to write, um, and uh, I'm, I'm literally going to start on it soon, and I hope... To be able to uh, have you guys tune in for that it'll be my first comic book and hopefully i'll get my name out there at some point anyways regardless of the fact i uh i just kind of wanted to hang out doodle chat and you know i mean i know not not a whole lot of people are up at 9 30 at night especially on the night of a, of a game it should be bills versus jets tomorrow i'm from buffalo i'm a bills guy i do not watch football though <laughs> not a big football person so uh, just representing my fam my Bills fam, so uh, shout out. Hopefully the Bills win tomorrow. So, again, literally, I'm, I'm just going to doodle today. Nothing crazy. I don't actually have anything that is 
of impertinence. I have a commission that I'm thinking I might start the rough of. Um, this is going to be a print of Gwenpool, uh, so look forward to that. And uh, for those of you guys who, who also don't follow me as closely as I'd love you to, check out my website. It is sketchingthebeast.com. You can purchase commissions. You can purchase uh, uh, prints. You can, you can purchase all sorts of things. I have a limited print run right now of um of a uh, absolute carnage piece that i did um so anyways just doodling today uh feel free to to tune in and, and comment and and say what's up uh even if you're about to go to bed and you just want something to, to check out i'm gonna just kind of conceptualize here because that's fun honestly it's, it's fun to just doodle for for no apparent purpose sometimes. Uh, hopefully you guys can see this. You know what? I'm going to whip out the ink because it'll be a little easier for you guys to see. Uh, let's see what I got here. That's fine. I'll draw out some quick things in pencil. You know what? I'm going to go for a Wolverine sketch here because that's, that's always fun. People like Wolverine. People like watching his intense drawings and stuff. Let me just sketch it out real quick and we'll go from there. I mean, no one's watching right now, so that's cool. Not, a, not enough interest yet. Um, and let me know if that camera uh, is, is zooming in and out too much. I can try and see if I can fix that. I want it to always be focused here. I wonder if I can make... Uh, oh, well. We'll have to... Uh, let's see. Where's the focus point here? Oh, I see. It's focusing on the hand because that's what I told it to focus on. Do, 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 do. There it goes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> um, so, anyways, let's just draw a, a straight on version of him. So, we got top of his head here. His eyes are going to go there. That's okay. Here's a little bit of a, a little bit of process. Hopefully, I don't, you guys can't see this yet, but, anyways. I haven't actually shared this out anywhere yet. Let me share it out, see if people are on to it. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just going to share it out real quick. Share. Drawing comics and manga. Silverbacks, headquarters. What's up? Uh, and soon I'm going to try to see if I can get it to the point where we can um, do uh, invite people. So, we'll see. Oh, yeah, somebody liked the stream. What's up? Whoever's in here, how's it going? Let me know, uh, comment below to let me know you're here. I can't actually see who the heck is in here. Oh, that was me sharing it. Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> so, we got this. So, I'm going to go from here. And then we'll get these... We're gonna do the so, okay. I'm gonna draw this like I'm drawing a skull real quick. Hey, Christy, thank you for the like. If you're uh, tuning in, I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, give this guy a big fat. He kind of looks like he's smiling. Why not? Hey, that's kind of cool. All right, who's a good smiley character then? That's that's a good pearly smile. Actually, why why not? You know, I I said that I was gonna draw what's his face, but maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll just draw like a bulky looking Superman. I don't know. We'll see where we we'll see where we go with this. Uh, yeah. Boom boom boom. Oh, wow, I already fucked that up. That's okay. Just doodling, guys. So, oh, hey, I got some viewers. Hey, how's it going, guys? Just uh, kind of doodling today, not, not doing anything crazy. I uh, decided that um, I'm just going to doodle um, 
Superman with a big goofy grin because uh, why not again just having fun and uh, thank you for tuning in tell me how's it been how are you doing what's up what would you like to see me do if you had uh, the opportunity Gotta get better at my inking ability here. But um, anyways, uh, yeah, so honestly, I just got a lot going on right now, and it's nice to sometimes just uh, hang back and do nothing. I've just been, I mean, so much, it's been pretty stressful lately, and I got some things going on. I don't even have a lot of commissions right now. That's the worst part. Let's go then. But to tell tell me how you guys been. You know, say hi and hang out in the chat for a minute. I don't really actually even have an idea where I'm going with this, but it's fun. So I'm going to do this. People are like, ah, this is a crap drawing. Well, honestly, I didn't really lay down any crazy framework, so it's, uh, you know, I mean, it's. How does this hair go? He got like a he's got like a swishy hair, right? Let's do let's do this. Um, oh, well, I definitely not wanted to do that. That's all right. It's kind of like a creepy evil version. Got this big, uh, big chin. Oh my god, it looks kind of looks more like a Conan O'Brien. character dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. um, yeah so hopefully you guys uh, no one's uh, everybody's doing good everybody's doing safe everybody's being safe I should say not doing safe I don't think you can do safe I, mean, I guess you can by a, by uh, by being uh, I don't know. That's a weird weird way to word a verb. It is the wrong way, always. <clears throat> Anyways, fun doodle. Quick thirty second doodle. Let's do uh, let's go and uh, let's do something fun. <clears throat> All right. Do Spidey. Mm. Oh, I scooped on that. That's more like a dead. That's Deadpool. He's got more of that. Uh, more of that uh, style of face. 
Viewers, I know this uh, light's pretty pretty intense on this. So, anyways, I, like I said, I'm just um just practicing, just having a little bit of fun, just kind of doodling whatever. Um, and uh, I don't know, I'm looking for somebody to chat. Honestly, if you guys want to chat, you know, message me in the chat and and say what's up and and uh, let me uh, just grab something real quick here. Actually, yeah, why not? Let's do this. It's a cool comic. I'm going to pick out a comic and draw something from it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a crap comic. It's a good day to study, uh, but um, I'm gonna say I don't. Uh, I'm not in the mood to do that today, so I'm not gonna study. I'm going to, I guess now study. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm clearly tired, but I'm one of those type of people that I have to like. I'm at that stage now where I kind of have to draw to like go to bed. Otherwise, I just don't go to bed. Mm. Okay, here we go. Let's do some arm stuff. Actually, this is a perfect page. Pitch it down, pitch it down. Alright. We're going to do some... I wonder if this is any better. Can you see anything? Oh wow, nope, that's that's terrible. We can't do that. How about we do a little bit? Oh wow. That's really bad. Why well, can't like it's it's not well I guess it is really light now. I did erase it. Anyways, let's uh we're gonna draw an arm. We're gonna draw the shoulder. We're gonna draw the arm extending. And we're gonna draw it. So, let me, let me do this, right? We got this, we got this, we got this curve in here. There's the shoulder here. Because why not? Let's, uh, let's, let's uh, draw in this shoulder. Usually, I usually like to do more, more bulbous and more, you know what I mean? But really shoulder breaks into a couple different parts and uh, it's one of those things are like it's kind of cool to um, do anatomy stuff because sometimes you learn something new every time you do it I mean that's the goal is to learn something new now we're gonna do this we're gonna do this we're gonna I actually have no idea what the hell this muscle is does it say what it is? No, it says it's part of the bicep. It claims it is. The bicep. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. I wish these books would teach you, like, hey, here, here's a shape. Here's a shape. I mean, some, I don't know, some of them do, and some of them don't, and it's, it can be tough sometimes. But anyways, this is two, this is the brachialis. The brachialis. I'm a ghost, the black gallus, okay. Alright. Which goes into the pronator terrace. I've never, never heard or seen this one, but I guess I do draw it all the time. So if I, if I do this, because then it goes into the, it goes into the flexocopy radialis. I hope you guys are appreciating this retarded, weird voice I'm doing. <laughs> Nobody's taking offense because it's like that sounds like me. Oh, that was I went accent there for whatever reason. <clears throat> All right, so we got that. We got that. Oh, you guys can hear the. Uh, you can hear my 
washer in the background. This is not, that's the tri, uh, I guess that makes sense that that's the tricep that you can see in the background there, just a little bit, right? Because then it, it comes down, we do our line weight nice and thick here. Oh yeah, I definitely did not do this right. Let me, uh, yeah, screw this. This is not, gonna, this does not look right. That just looks weird. This is all sorts of grouped up. Mm. Oof. Oof, it looks bad. It's bad. I'm not good at drawing from books. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys, how you guys do, but let's scooch this over here a little bit. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what I'm working on here, okay? Uh, 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 uh. This is Drawing Cutting Edge Anatomy, the ultimate reference guide for comic book artists by Christopher Hart. So I'm in here. I'm doodling this. It's one of those books, it's like, you read it when you were a kid, and then uh, you were like, uh, you know, oh, you know, this is cool, this is awesome, this is the way you should learn. And then, as you get older, you're like, I don't really learn this way. But, it is kind of nice. I mean, some parts of it, now that I'm a little older, I can appreciate it again, right? So, the um and the hums. The bicep, the brachialis, the bicep, the brachialis. But I don't really. Uh, they show you how it's drawn. They don't really show the actual anatomy of the damn arm. Kind of sucks. Anyways, let me move all my stuff here. Live streaming. People are like tuning in and then they're leaving because they're like, what is this garbage that this dude is doing? He sucks. His artwork sucks. He's drawing. It's crap. But you know what? Who cares? I'm having fun with my sale. <clears throat> Boom. Let's toss it. We're going to go. We're gonna go into Bridgman here. Let's see, Bridgman. Bridgman's complete guide to drawing from life. Drawing from life. I can't believe it's 10 o'clock already. I feel like I've accomplished enough, literally. So what I'd like to do, I'd like to skip ahead to the anatomy sections here. There's a lot there. The arm. Here we go. This is where I'd like to be. This is where I want to be. This is where I want to be. All right, so <clears throat> let's draw this. Let's draw this out here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna use an ink because I'm just going to force myself to redraw these anytime I, I screw up, right? So. I'm already screwed up here. I don't know why I don't like. So he's showing here that your arm is a hinge and with with flexors. And this one's really really unique way to draw it though. I don't only thing I don't like about these books is the way he does it is very tough to like read from. And some people have an easy time reading it. I do not. Like this is very tough to read. Like I just want to see I mean I guess I I get the gist. Right? We get the gist when we're looking at this, but we don't actually see what is going on 100% of the time. Anyways. 
Alright, that was terrible. But anyways. I'm gonna establish a flow here. And we got FSR. So we got this. And the R. Okay. That's good. Do do who wants to comment? What do you think? Have you done Bridgman? Are you a Bridgman fan? Do you like watching people draw Bridgman? What do you think? I don't know who's in here. I wish I did. The uh, OBS studio does not tell me such fantastic things, unfortunately. Oh, it looks like there's needs to be some overlapping here. So we're going to do that. And that does this weird... Oh, this must be a tendon it's showing me. He's trying to do a tendon here. Okay, it must be a weird tendon that connects there. And then we got this, there's a block for the forearm for whatever reason. Okay, we got this. I guess it, it kind of makes sense if you think about it. So I'm breaking it down best I can. And this is like, you know, don't take every word that I'm, you guys can't 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 see what I'm doing down here. Don't take every word or everything that I'm doing here for for perfect or or, or example because by far, you know, it, I'm not. But this is the kind of thing that you need to be doing if if you're not where you want to be. And you need to examine it and say, well, what did I do wrong here? So he's got the shadows here. So you can see that the arm connects. So if we draw this, here's the the shoulder, bicep. Probably the tricep, if, depending on the... I see. I would say he's looking at it dead on, so you won't really see this. But, you know what I mean? This is going to be the chest here. right so yeah I mean it kind of makes sense you're, you're looking at it straight on and then here's your here's your forearm so yeah you know what I mean yeah yeah and that that's pretty good I mean that's pretty dead on and again this this part doesn't exist but I goofed so you're not gonna see that but you might you might see a little bit of this depending right and then we're gonna so the shadows on this side, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna say that. So this is recessed, and then you got, yeah. Boom! Look at that. We just created an arm, based on a a, a box couple boxes here I mean, really if you think about it so yeah you can see here let's break it down you know box 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 bam so shoulder bicep although the bicep in this is a little weird a little, a little hard to make out but I mean it's a really pff, rough drawing actually it might he might be having he actually might have the bicep tilted here actually we're, we're seeing some tricep that actually makes sense he's we're, we're showing it more you're not you can't actually see my camera anymore what's going on my camera's dead oh no what happened oh no that sucks what the heck happened oh my god hold on guys technical difficulties Hold on. Is that 
that's annoying. You know why it does that? Dude, what the actual heck? <clears throat> Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. There's no... I, I don't know. This is a really old... Old uh, phone that I'm using for a camera. Believe it or not. So, I have to apologize. Oh, no, now you see the camera. You don't want to see the camera. Just me. I can't believe yeah, that, that green screen of actually actually works really well. But anyways, like I was saying, uh, we're seeing the arm this way, not uh, any other way. I don't, so I know there's a couple of videos out there that that's that they break down Bridgman, and um, they're they're really good, a lot better than me. So check those out, please. Check out. Uh, I know uh, Modern Day James has one, and. Um, mm, there's another guy who's working on a mini series of them, and uh, I mean he, he's not bad. He's not he's not the greatest artist in the world, and I'm not gonna. But he's he's making an attempt to break it down because so many people have a hard time with this. I won't even lie. I mean, I it's hard for me too, but I gotta dedicate myself to doing it. It's one of those things. So you may have heard me say this before, but you gotta be the the hardest working mother hacker in the room, because that's just. You know what I mean? If you're not, you're not doing it right. All right, so we got this. So it's he's going back to his original drawing here, where you're he's showing the 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 t t twisting and torsion of the of the arm again, um, with just how the bones work. And uh, this is actually going to be pretty helpful, I think, in the long on the long run for most people. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you know, I don't really need to learn the bones and how it works and stuff. And yeah, you know, that's that's kind of kind of really true. You don't need to memorize all these things. You really don't. I, mean, I didn't even read. I'm not even reading the 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 how to stuff and his his notes because a it's hard it's hard to understand some of it. It's like I don't know what 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 you're referencing here. But hey, Bridgman's the master. You can't. Uh, you can't um, deny the master. So we got this, and then we got... All right, this is clearly too wide here, but... Let's bring this in. So we got this, and then even his hand is twisting. I know, again, you can't see what I'm doing down here, and I'm going to move up at some point very shortly. Scooch that. And uh, so, anyways, let's. Yeah, there we go. Boom. All right, so you guys can see this here. I'll zoom in for you. Boom. Right. So we're just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep practicing this because now we're looking at the back of the arm right now. This is obviously the back of the arm. And um, here, let's let me show you some some things that I'm looking at. Um, hi, viewer. How's it going? Hope everything's going well with you. I'm just kind of, just kind of, you know, what I decided I was gonna do. I was gonna do a whatever kind of thing, and then I ended up deciding that I'm going to make this a, a learning experience for myself and maybe for you guys too, who either don't have this book or are having a hard time. So I, I'm gonna try and help break down some aspects for you. Uh, again, I'm not I'm not an amazing anatomy artist, and I'm still learning. But uh, the best way to learn is to teach. So, anyways, thank you for tuning in. Hopefully, you guys stay and you hang out and you you check out some of my drawings here. Um, but so yeah, we're gonna look at the back of the arm. Um, so there's a couple of different. I just did this one here. Um, you can see that he is he is twisting his arm, and then you can see here here's his tricep, here's his elbow, and you can see the tricep goes goes into the elbow and really what's happening here is you get this like horseshoe this is the horseshoe that us us guys who like to work out this is what we want we want this horseshoe here i just drew that in actually it kind of looks like it's part of the the book now cool wow i am getting so many views just because people are like wow he's looking at bridgman uh, anyways uh <laughs> So here's the tricep, shoulder, tricep, tri, uh, tricep uh, extends into the elbow here. The elbow is kind of like a uh, a popping out uh, triangle almost um, that, that extends. It's almost like a, 
like a block is the best way I can I can describe this, right? Right. So, yeah. So, um, anyways, and then you it, it, here's your bicep. You're only seeing the the this little tiny part of the bicep uh, below the shoulder, and then you're doing the this is the forearm here. Here's a big forearm muscle, and you can see how he he latches it in here to to show that it's it extends out. And actually, that works really well. That's something I, I've never uh, established in any of my artworks um, before. So, let's try it out here. Let's see if I can might need to zoom out a little bit. And uh, I'm using ink because pencil is terrible for learning, right? I mean, you know, I wonder, I wonder if um, anyone has actually chatted. I wonder if chatting is not working. If if uh, you guys are commenting, I apologize if you're if you're if you are and it is not working. Let me just check the uh, Facebook version here. No, okay. No, okay, no chats. <laughs> so, all right, so we're going to go into this. So we got this. People are like, yeah, you suck. And that's okay. I'm, again, I'm trying to learn by doing. And uh, for those of you who um, who are still hanging on, I appreciate it. I will uh, chat with you not only about this. So we're going we're gonna to start this little... This little session here i'm gonna maybe try to make this a a weekly thing where i just do anatomy stuff maybe i'll i'll move on to um doing uh this on on youtube since i, I don't get a lot of uh, people tuning in for my my live streams here on facebook i because facebook is they're jerks they want their money so they don't they don't show you guys this stuff unless you're subscribed to it and even then so and then we got this by we got the bicep here so we don't see much of the bicep but you can see here if you're looking at it backwards oh i lost my viewer and like, this is boring anatomy practice god no i'm just kidding anyways um for you guys watching in the future hopefully you guys go back and check it out for you guys watching in the future um you can see we're looking at the back view and here we have the tricep and you're going to obviously so obviously the tricep is overextending the bicep because the biceps in the front front plane and the triceps in the back plane so you're not going to see much but his arm is twisting right so he's uh doing this uh crazy mambo jumbo thing um and uh so we just want to kind of portray this so what i would like to do is we're going to do this right so we got this and we got then there's this muscle here this muscle uh this is kind of similar actually believe it or not to the calf muscle that does similar actions And, okay, so mine it obviously is not as fluid as his, but we're getting there. Uh, the point of this is to practice and to learn through teaching and to break it down so that not only do I understand it, but everybody else does too. So in his drawing, he's got, and let me move this over a little bit. Let me scoot, actually, let me scoot the whole setup here. Um, so in his drawing, you can see he, his is more, kind of just feels more fluid. He's got this. He's got this fluidity to his drawings, and then it's mine. Don't they're very stiff. I can see here. I screwed up. I the tricep it starts way way too high up in here, um, whereas it, it extends further down here. So we're we're looking more like here, and this is going to be more a little bit down here. As remember, things things aren't straight. Like your tricep does not. Your 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 tricep does not look like this. I know some people, you know, draw it that way, but that's your tricep doesn't look like that. It's not flat. It is usually at an angle. Everything. Think of everything, you know, at an axis. Nothing is, nothing is straight. So, anyways, so you can see here, he shows that this, 
he shows the tricep as a cylinder that wraps into the bone. So we can see here bone, right? Bone for the elbow. And then there's obviously muscles that encompass this, right? But yeah, and I'm actually drawing on my book. That's fantastic. I will never return this. Thankfully, it is not a library book. <laughs> so anyways, so we're going to do this. And then actually, since I am start this, do this, boom. Boom, now I got a hand. Anyways, yeah, so that gives you the, hey, I'm twisting my hand. All right. Ooh, this is, this is everyone's favorite, right? Ooh, when your muscles are like, mm, yeah, boy. Yeah, look at me popping my muscles out. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm a very unorganized practicer of doodles here. Um, but here's here's some things that I want to point out for you guys watching at home later in the future again. Um, is So I learned this from Jim Lee watching one of, a few of his li live streams. So you have your, your shoulder here. Oh, my God. My, sorry, my arm is, is overlapping the uh, camera. But So you have your shoulder here, shoulder which extends into the bicep. Something cool to know about this pose is that there is, um, I can't remember how he worded it, but they're like basically lines of importance when you're doing anatomy, and this being one of them right here. The way he does it, he just draws a, a straight line going out, which as you can see, it kind of is. I mean, it really is. So you got this line, you got this, the bicep going from the, from the shoulder to the extending into the forearm. And um, so, yeah, just a straight line here. I mean, everybody has their own style, and um, you can adapt that or you can choose not to. That's up to you. You, you get this style here. And then, so the, the it looks like, actually, yeah, that makes sense. So you got the um, the back muscles that are, that, that kind of, well, they're not really back muscles, but they're inner delts or not delts. Oh, I can't, I can't, anyways, uh, muscles under your armpit. That extend into the bicep we have here and then your bicep or your tricep extends out and you can see here when your bicep is you know x uh, oh my god what is the word anyways when your bicep is like this your tricep is extended out so you're not getting that bulbous tricep that you would get you know you're not getting one of these you know, not that that's exactly the shape it would look like, but you know what I mean? So where you would get that, it, it doesn't extend that let that way. You're getting more of a flat shape. Okay. So, <laughs> something uh, to keep in mind. Now i got to figure out how I'm going to do this, this drawing. So you guys can draw along with me. And I can draw. Yeah, let's just do it on this page here. That's what I'll do. I'll do it on this page where you guys can't see me. No, I'm just kidding. I would like for you guys to be able to see me as well. So we'll draw over here. Yeah, I can, you, guys, you guys can see me all over here. So we got the shoulder here. Boom. Boom. So we got the shoulder. And then we got the thigh. So actually, let me do this. I'm going to do this. Boom, 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 right? And then we got Yeah, we don't uh, we don't need to to really go crazy with drawing that, right? So so we have this. I'm just kind of establishing the lines of motion here so that I this drawing doesn't look so stiff. And you guys are like, who are you to be teaching us about anatomy? Well, you know what? I'm, a, I'm an average Joe Schmo, but maybe I can put something in layman's that uh, other guys can 
can learn from, right? So we're going to do this. So we got this popping out. Boom, baby. Boom. And then, like he said, you got this line of motion here that goes boom, straight out. And then there's also this here. There's also this muscle here, it, it, it seems, which also extends into the so the boom, boom. All right. So we got this. We got this nice bulbous machine here. Boom, 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 boom. Right. And then it goes boom. And then we have. So we also have. Oh, I, I drew this way way too out there right but so we also have this although I don't I'm not sure how often you're gonna see this extend that far it seems like it extends pretty far but I mean it kind of makes sense looks like he's got the ribs here but anyways and then, and then, and then, and then. And remember straight up straight out yeah I'm definitely Definitely kind of extending this a little further than it needs to go. And then here's the hard part. He's drawing in these weird, like, curved things, right? And, but we know, we know that the, when the elbow comes out here, this is the end of the elbow. Boom. So we got this, this straight line because the muscles will kind of fall into that that trap because that's where all the tendons meet right they meet at that that line so we got this boom yeah so I didn't make it quite as um, maybe made this a little bit longer than he would have it's not 100% right but it, it's practice and that's we aim to get better, right? And that's that's the end goal, is to get better. Yeah, there's that muscle. There we go. See? Boom. So now we have this cool arm. Boom, right? And there's some other muscles here that take into play. Cool. Why not, right? Why not make it look cool? And then, yeah. So, oh, God, that was loud. All right. So we did that. Oh my God. Good Lord. I get no much notifications on my computer for no reason whatsoever. Anyways, um. Hmm. So this has been a lot of fun and uh you know what i mean it's one of those things of like if you guys want to tune in later that's cool i know it's really late at night and people want to see like really amazing stuff not not the uh the practice so i got this and then so just kind of establishing i'm trying to understand his way his arm is here i can't tell if his arm is he doing one of these that's a tough one. What's he doing with his arm there? He's got to be wrapping it. He must be wrap. You know, he must be doing that to show, show these muscles. I'm not sure. Actually, no. Um, yeah, that's a tough one. This is a very tough. That's a tough angle, and it's in, it's in perspective, right? I'm looking at this one here. This is the forearm. It's one of my weak points, definitely the forearm and the way that the forearm connects to the bicep. Uh, well, I should say the, the topper part of the arm. And it's it's tough because when you look when you're looking at superhero anatomy, you're seeing sometimes you're seeing shorter upper arms and longer uh, forearms, and that's because they overlap the shoulder more than than you you would you know imagine usually in your head. Um. But that's because they also have bigger shoulders, right? So their shoulders, 
I mean, your your shoulders grow, and they they you know what I mean. Like as they get bigger, the ex you you can just see that extension more than you would see it normally. So it kind of makes sense that your 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 forearm technically is kind of shorter. Your you should say your your bicep area is 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 actually smaller. The funny part is is your tricep takes up uh, actually a large amount of your your upper arm. Um, it, it's probably actually the biggest muscle because you got to think this whole region and behind this. I don't actually think your bicep would even be this big. <laughs> yeah, and as you can see, I, I extended the bicep longer than I should have. You can see that. So, something to keep in mind for my next time, right? So, let me quickly break this down. Right? Do, do, do. So, we got this line. Right? Boom. And we got this. Boom. Okay. So, here's the get rid of that in the background and we got this uh... I can't tell right because he adds ah, it's, it's this is a tough one as far as how that I wish he would show more how the arm was positioned um, which he does not but right so we got this and we got this, we got this curve here, curve of beauty, and uh, really the curve of beauty is, is one you want to look out for because it's a it's a big one. It'll make your muscles look dramatically different than they would. All right, so we got this. This is an important one. This muscle here. Oh shit. Pardon my French, right? Actually, I think it would be more like this. Uh, and then, yeah, this is a see. This is a tough one. And then we got this massive elbow here, which which does this and connects out. And boom! So we got to do this. We got the little sh shading here. shading I know my my drawing is is a lot rougher than the original and uh, I have to apologize for that oh you guys couldn't see it the whole time oh my god people would only say something come on guys talk to me bros bros so we got this and then this there's definitely another muscle here I don't really, yeah, I don't think you would see it at all, really. I mean, this is pretty much all shaded, shaded in. Boom. I mean, probably could make it look a lot nicer if I had a different, uh, here let's see let's show how we would do this with a okay. wow where did i put that i don't know where I... oh there it is with a ink brush right so this would be all this would all be blacked out because of the oh shit that's okay and i like Boom, boom, boom.
Yeah, boom. See? Yeah, this is definitely dried out pretty bad. Oof. So, I mean, that, hopefully that gives you a gist of the shading and shit and doing that, uh, doing that usually see this stuff. Nice in-depth insider look here. I mean, yeah, it's a really rough, rough uh, painting version of, of what you would see regularly in a, a uh, arm. I mean, at least how I would very quickly do this. So, uh, damn. This was fun. I mean, Bridgman's Anatomy is um, honestly one of the best, and you really can't go wrong. But, um, so I know, uh, anyways, we're hitting about an hour here, and it's been a good hour sesh of figuring things out, drawing, and all that other, you know, fun, fantastic, fun awesomeness. Anyways, guys, I hope you got something out of this. Um, and if you didn't, um, that's okay. And if you did, fantastic. I hope um, wherever you're watching this, Facebook, YouTube, uh, if I decide to upload it there, depending on the quality I get out of Facebook. Um, if you're watching this, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you, I hope you uh, give this this a, a thumbs up and and uh, comment below what you would like to see as far as an, as, as anatomy how would, how would you like me to break it down what would you like me to break down about it I'm not a professional and I'm not uh, I'm just kind of doing this for fun so I hope that um, it was okay good enough for you guys to watch um, but uh, definitely you know uh, you know like the stream subscribe to check uh, the next time that I am available or online, uh, live streaming. And uh, if you're on YouTube, you know, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get the latest vids from me. But uh, until next time, y'all, peace. It is ending. Sketching the bees. Bum, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, ba -da -da